Now to an Action News update. Return to the rightful owner. A thrift store purchase sent a Fresno woman on the search to find the family who accidentally left some precious memories behind. Action News anchor Jessica Harrington joins us here live in the studio tonight. She was there today as those items were returned. Jessica? Well, after Angela Hoffneck found an envelope filled with newspaper clippings, pictures, and a varsity letter from her alma mater, she made it her mission to track down the person who left it behind. When she couldn't find them on her own, she reached out to Action News, and today we were able to connect the two. <laughs> it's a meeting that's been weeks in the making. You look familiar, like I already knew you from somewhere. <laughs> Angela Hoffneck found an envelope full of newspaper clippings and pictures tucked behind a drawer in a dresser she bought from a local thrift store. She tried to track down the owner but was unsuccessful, so Action News stepped in to help. Wednesday, she was able to return them to Dan Grady. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. And that was item by item, they went through the envelope filled with memories that were nearly lost to a stranger. Stories behind this stuff is amazing. Yeah. I mean, you opened up a whole nother conversation for my sisters and I. I'm really grateful. The envelope belonged to his parents, Daniel and Cookie Grady. They were high school sweethearts and went on to have five children. My dad was the rock, my mom was the ground underneath them. They both passed away over the last two years. Grady and his sisters have been cleaning out some of their parents' belongings, but the envelope was never supposed to go. We never would have gotten rid of any of this. Yeah, now this is just too precious of material. Material like a letter from San Joaquin Memorial High School establishing a scholarship fund for Grady's late sister. Kelly went to Memorial. Her senior year came down with Hodgkins, and then she passed away six years later, 24. Newspaper clippings from the time his father helped a Clovis officer who was in a fight with a suspect and a letter from the Clovis chief of police at the time. This is like how they acknowledged him. There were also quirky items like old restaurant menus and a strongly worded letter sent to Grady's father while he was principal at Fireball High. The football teams had a rivalry that had apparently gotten out of hand. Dear Dr. Grady, I have placed my last phone call to you for is more than enough <laughs> over your students coming to Das Palace and writing gross and obscene words on our senior patio in red paint. All those memories and mementos in an envelope Grady was happy to have back. You were raised with good values and we are lucky that, that you found this envelope. Yeah, I'm glad it, I'm glad it was me. And the two have exchanged numbers. They say they plan to stay in touch. And of mm -hmm. course, Grady says he and his sisters will be sure to double check everything before anything else gets donated to the yeah. thrift store. So a few laughs and maybe a couple of tears too. Yes, oh, absolutely. Yeah. It was definitely emotional. Love that story. Thank, Thank you, right. Jessica. Thank you. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.